Okay guys, uh, today we're working on a radial arm saw. This is an old saw I got from my dad. And uh, when we go to turn on the motor, just listen, it will not spin, okay? So we know something's wrong in the circuit here. It's drawing a lot of power. Um, we've already tested it, we know what's going on, but uh, I wanted to go through a couple of the components really quickly on this motor. So this is a brushless motor, so we're not looking at brushes. What we are gonna do is we're gonna look at the start capacitor. We're gonna look at the thermal protection switch. And then the other thing you need to notice on here is uh, on these motors, there's this little plate in the back and it's almost like, uh, you know, I say it's like a swash plate on a helicopter, but as this thing starts to spin up, that plate moves away and disconnects the start capacitor. So there's a little relay here. So the first thing you wanna do is grab your uh, multimeter and uh, we'll just we'll just test that the actual capacitor. There we go. So th this switch is currently closed. You know, if we open it up, we can test that, yes, the switch opens. It's not that complicated. The next thing we want to do is test the capacitor. Now, before we do any testing on any capacitor, we're going to disconnect this thing. We've got one over here. And you're going to short these two terminals out, our terminals out, and just leave it there and let the thing uh, discharge, okay? Um, otherwise, you might get a, a nice little jolt. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our multimeter um, on the capacitor test setting. And that's this little icon that looks like maybe like a bridge if you if you want. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold the leads on here and we're gonna wait for the multimeter to kick in. And what you're gonna see is, so it's showing 167, uh, one, yeah, so 167.3. And if we look at the actual capacitor rating, it's 161 to 193 so this capacitor is good okay so we know the capacitor is good we've tested this capacitor we've tested our circuit here uh the thermal switch uh even though i have continuity through here um if i test this continuity is good what we do know is you can actually just wire all of these wires together if you want to uh we're just going to jump across uh this is actually the circuit for the capacitor and then you'll notice that the thing fires up just fine. So we know our thermal switch, uh, safety switch is shot. We'll be taking this out of the circuit and replacing it. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for the whole motor.